what's going on everyone today we got to talk about some important stuff because we see some decreases inside the market going on and we're getting the fed meeting on the 3rd of april so a lot of stuff is about to be happening very soon so you definitely want to watch out for that anyways we're going to jump right into this remember i'm not a financial advisor none of this is financial advice but let's get straight to it now Going over Baby Doge first, as you can see here, we are now at 8Z2340. That's pretty important because if you look at this consolidation phase, we're actually breaking down on it below the Fibonacci retracement, which just so happens to be right where the bottom of our consolidation phase is, which shows that you know it's pretty accurate right now. So if you look at Bitcoin's price, you see Bitcoin's kind of pulling back a little bit too. It went all the way up to 70K recently, and then it pulled right back down. So we've been seeing this time and time again, it goes up and it pulls right back down. It goes up again and pulls right back down. So this is kind of interesting because what's cooking up right now is the Fed chair speech. So Jerome Powell is going to be doing the speech, going to be talking about all financial things for the U.S., which has a huge part to play in where Bitcoin and overall crypto market is going next. Now, looking over here at Baby Doge, though, looking at the Fibonacci retracement, we might be breaking down below that leading up to the speech. And what makes me think that is because Bitcoin also looks like it might be going down leading up to the speech as well. It always has the possibility to not go down. Like, look, you can look over here on the RSI. It could always cross right here, right? And then go right back up, right? The RSI could always cross and then go right back up. And then we could see increased buying pressure for Bitcoin. But the thing here is, like, if you look at like the price of Baby Doge, it looks like it's going to pull back down just a little bit more, maybe to this green line here, 8Z2100, possibly even down to 8Z20. Or sometimes what happens here with um, with these consolidation phases, it does what it did here. And if you were wondering what these green lines are here on the chart, these are the chart prime automated trading indicators. Link in the description for that. The momentum wave bands here for the chart prime indicators, it pretty much connects to, um, well, it pretty much tracks the movement inside of the prices, right? It tracks, it tracks your different supports and your different um, resistances. And it connects to the Fibonacci almost because, you know, we almost always come back to this. So it always leads back down to your supports and your resistances. And you can see the resistance or the support that it has set for us on the chart prime indicators. You can see that's where we went down last time. So if we are to break down below the Fibonacci retracement here, I believe we would go down to this area here where that support is. So that could be one thing. We could go back down to the momentum weight bands or what we could end up doing is what we did last time, you know, go down just a little bit and then just break out. Right. So this time it might go all the way down to that line, but then it might just immediately break out and go crazy. And I, this is leading up to the April 3rd meeting for the Fed. So maybe if the um, maybe if it holds off till then, we might be able to break out before then. But it does look like we're going to have a decrease in the price leading up to that meeting here in Baby Doge. So think, same thing for uh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin, on the other hand, maybe it doesn't go all the way down. Like maybe it doesn't go down as much as Baby Doge goes down. Because obviously, you know, I don't know why, but Baby Doge always likes to go down way more than Bitcoin. But it likes to go up more than Bitcoin as well. So you know it is what it is but if bitcoin is to go down as well it's not going to stay down like we keep seeing it time and time again where it goes down a little bit and then it goes up goes down a little bit and then it goes up so anything could happen there me personally i think that we're we're very very bullish in this market i just think we need some good news and that's what the april 3rd meeting with the fed is going to be it's going to be that good news or it could be that good news because if it's bad news we're probably going to see Bitcoin going down to the Fibonacci retracement here at 60.3K again, just like we did before. And this time we might go down below it to the next support at 51K. So there's always that possibility here. But hey, I, I'm just saying I'm just the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. Let me know what you guys think about this. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. But let me know if you think it's going to be bullish or bearish. And also, if you want these automated trading indicators, check out the link in the description for the chart prime automated trading indicators you can go ahead and use those hit the like button and subscribe as always i'll be back with another video